what's up guys of course welcome to another video from me the scarinder and i obviously need to talk about this much like everybody else uh this is one of those episodes that kind of feels like whoring but i feel like i'm so late now that hopefully i don't get any extra viewers outside you guys who actually are following me and i just want to leave my own thoughts so, you know i thought it was really cool i actually was going to work while this was posted now first of all I hate that people calling this a leak, it's so obvious that it isn't, or rather, the Koro Koro has always got uh, material that they have been using, and um, <laughs> they got full access to the very product itself. That's fine, though, like I said, don't, why is it still called a leak? It's just, it's, it's actually really annoying. Uh, but besides that, we would obviously got something different here with Saigar being in different forms. Like I said in previous videos, I was fairly sure this weird guy was Saigard. Uh, much like uh, Tyranitar 2 really, it felt really really obvious that with the Pentagon's forms on it, that it should have been something to Saigard. Now what we didn't suspect is that it should have, it's like a different form. They're like trying to showcase that it has different types of uh, percent attached to it for its forms. Which means that this one, which looks like a dog, is 10% of its form. And Zygarde that we know from X and Y is 50% of the form. And the next one seems to be like 100%. And it got that red-blue thing going for it, which I'm fairly sure that means that it's attached to Gilles Veltal and uh, Exernis. That's the only thing I'm gonna get, blue for Exernis and Gilles Veltal for the red one. And I'm guessing we have a 75% form with either of them being a part of that, I guess. Um, so that's cool. Um, and of course, they're pretty much spoiling, or not really spoiling. We have been waiting for a confirmation of a, a C game. If you see on the, my poor, poor, poor mech here that we actually got a C on X and Y and C. Yeah, that looks really pixelated. Uh, but yeah. I mean, we've been waiting for really, pretty much a Pokemon C to come out. But we knew Saigar wasn't uh, wasn't at its full potential, and we also knew that it would have been very, very cool to see. Well, to see something new from Dex and Dex and Y felt really, really short, and it felt like they can do something more. Now, I don't believe we're gonna see much more new Pokemon in the next game. Uh, hopefully, I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. And uh, yeah. I think that will do, uh, as long as we go for the new games. There is there is some reason speculating. I really hope we get confirmation very soon. Um, it seems like a post like this that they want to introduce it very soon too, or they would have made that leak leak by default. The next picture is actually one that was a, was a bit cooler, and that is the Greninja picture. Now we're going to get a very, very, like, this was the high quality picture, and I wonder... Um, but yeah, we're not seeing a whole lot here, and uh, we really aren't. Um, we're seeing. Oh wait, no! Yeah, I thought that was a girl uh, from uh, Ruby Sapphire. It's not. That seems to be a new character. Uh, that's the bad guy from uh, X and Y. Shilvel Tall. I was gonna say, but Saigar is there. New characters: an Eevee, Panda, Pokemon. Yeah, nothing special besides the Green India. Now. I have got explained for me that this is not a mega form. I guess that makes sense. Uh, people have said like that is like an ash form or something like that, and uh, yeah, maybe. Um, there is no reason for speculating. Uh, obviously, they're not been showcasing it's like a mega form, and it hasn't such a drastic change either. So I guess calling it a mega Pokemon would have been, well, not as cool. Uh, but yeah. I guess, you know, that's it. Like, there's no real explanation to it. I think that's Neuvern there. And that's a Sceptile. And it seems like something purple, like a tower. I uh, don't get anything out of that. Um, and there is, like, nothing else on this picture that is worth mentioning. Besides, you know, that it's going to be released. First episode is coming out then. And I do believe that they're going to have a Mega Pokemon episode before that. Or Mega Pokemon reveal. Uh, which probably going to be all about Saigard. I'm fairly sure about that. But yeah, I think that will end the video. Like, I don't want to speculate too much because 
as of right now, really don't know anything. We just want the game to be confirmed, and we want an we want we want a date that, that this is going down, and so that's the only thing really. That's the only thing I wonder. I thought I saw something, but probably didn't. This thing looks weird, uh, but I can't uh, can't see anything. Probably isn't anything either. No, it's a, it's a talon flame. There's a beak. See, pixelated picture never works. Uh, but yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, just so make sure to leave a like as always. And um, hopefully, we get something out of this. Uh, really excited. Um, next event, like I said, is in November. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be confirmed with this in mind. The, the event is actually the second November, which kind of pretty much I think things going down by then. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching as always. Make sure to leave a like, like I said, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.